Hello and welcome to Script Tonight Reacts. I'm Script Tonight. Today we're going to be watching season one, episode three of The Handmaid's Tale. This episode is called Late. <sighs> really, really into this series. So far, I didn't expect. Um, I expected it to be a fairly gritty story, but I have been really surprised by the quality of the cinematography so far, by the creation of the world that you know they're living in this horrific patriarchal society i'm loving the backstory i'm loving that we're getting these little layers starting to creep in now in episode two we're getting a little bit deeper into you know how did how the fuck did we end up in this situation you know what happened to the world and what happened to us as humanity that we would sink so low to create such horrible inequality it's horrific I'm really enjoying that. Also, the music is incredible in this show. <laughs> really, really good music. There have been like a couple of scenes where I've really kind of sat back and gone, wow. And like that stretch in the last episode where Alfred had played the Scrabble and she'd like burst out laughing afterwards. And then like she's the next morning, she's like waking up. She's all ready to do battle with the world. And, you know, the Don't Forget About Me's player, don't you? It's just a really, really amazing piece of music. And she's just like... <sighs> I really like it. But, yeah, I really can't wait to get into this episode. Really, really looking forward to it. I want to know what's happened with Ulf Glenn. I want a more backstory on how we got into this horrible mess in the first place. I'm always happy to see Janine of Warren. That character is absolutely breaking my heart. And I feel like the tension is rising in the house um, now with Serena Joy, the commander's wife, and Offred. So let's not mess about it any longer. Let's have at it. heard pieces of the story from Rita. The Marthas have their own networks. There was a black van, then footsteps on the stairs, then something no. quick and brutal oh, that made her unable to scream. There'd be no mercies for a member of the resistance. Like Tov Glenn, it just crept up on me. Now I'm awake to the world. I was asleep before. That's how we let it happen. When they slaughtered Congress, we didn't wake up. When they blamed terrorists and suspended the Constitution, we didn't wake up then either. They said it would be temporary. Yeah. Nothing changes instantaneously. In a gradually heating bathtub, you'd be boiled to death before you knew it. God, this is so the right time for this series, isn't it? Claire sick? Who? The woman who usually works here. How would I know? All right. Sorry, declined. Really? Yeah, insufficient funds. That's not possible. I just deposited my paycheck yesterday. So. Do you have any cash? What? No. What's up? Can you just run it again? Could you come back when you have some money? <laughs> hey man, what's your problem? Just run her Sorry, card. Forget it. I'll just call from work. What's no. your problem? What? Fucking sluts, get the fuck out of here. What did you just say? Excuse me? 
You just call us fucking sluts? Are you serious, dude? This is your first day or something? What's your name? What's your name, bro? Come on, Get out of here. Let's go, come on. Jesus. Due to unexpectedly high call volume, we are experiencing longer than average wait times. Did they take women's like money? To hold, please press or say one. One. What? Roger called a meeting. Do you know who these guys are? Are they with building security or I something? Know. I don't think so. Oh my... What's this meeting about? I have no idea. Folks. Ladies, gentlemen. Mr. Folks, may I have your attention, please? Ladies, you should all know that I feel really sorry about this. Oh, shit. It isn't my decision. I don't have a choice. I have to let you go. What? I have to let you all go. Wait, we're being fired? No, no, not fired. Uh, no, let go. What does that even mean? You can't work here anymore. It's the law now. Roger, what law? I, I don't have a choice. Uh, hey, why is it just the women? I don't have a choice. Roger, Roger. Coward. Sorry, I know you'd be terrified, but it's every single act of capitulation in these situations that allows it to happen. Look at them all just sitting there. Oh. Ugh. FYI, I'm livid right now. I'm speechless with rage. It's absolutely fucking horrific. Oh, I'd lose my shit. Thank you. Under his eye. Fuck Excuse off. me? Why'd they send the army? I don't think that's the army. I think it's another kind of army. Well, that was absolutely terrifying. I'm like equal parts terrified and furious. It's good. Oh. <gasps> what? Does she, is she? Oh shit, it's off with pregnant. I have stewed apples. For dessert. Why is she being so nice? She's being really cute. Do you like stewed apples? Thank you. You are welcome. I even found some cinnamon. I had swapped for it. I gave her a lot of cheese. I don't even know why I'm crying. It's nice. Something about her being sweet is just killing me right now. I don't want to forget this. <sighs> Fuck. Yeah. You haven't asked for your napkins yet this month. And I know you're just a few days late, but a baby. Wouldn't it be wonderful? <clears throat> Uh, no. How was your walk? Very pleasant, thank you. How do you feel? I'm, I'm fine. It's very fucking weird. You're not nauseous or your breasts tender at all? I'm going to have a visit with baby Angela today. Would you like to come along? Well... Get myself cleaned up. You finish your lunch every bite now. You need to be in the clean plate club. <laughs> this is the weirdest. Just eat it. Some good might as well come out of this fucking nightmare. Oh, <laughs> 
face. <laughs> what happened to your hand? Oh, it's nothing. Just one of those things. Um, Angela had finished her breakfast, and I was picking her up. And that girl, that ungrateful girl, she snapped at me. She bit you? Mm -hmm. You know how they get. I'm just counting the days until Angela's weaned, and that girl is out of my house. Hmm. She's like just slightly ungrateful. Oh, Janine. Oh, I was, I was so worried that she would look like her father. Caleb looked like his father. Mm. But she does. She looks. She looks like, like me. me. Yeah. <laughs> Janine, did you? Did you bite Mrs. Putnam? You can't do that. Well, she's a cunt. <laughs> she is. Well, you can't. No, you don't understand. She is always grabbing Charlotte. She's always just grabbing at her. And I told her I was still feeding her. She wasn't done eating and she just grabbed her from me. I can do anything I want. I can. I had a baby. A good one. I had a good one. And so they don't care. I can do anything I want. I can have ice cream. <laughs> it's only vanilla, but I can have it. He, he loves me. <laughs> he loves me so much. <laughs> Who? Him. My commander. He loves you? Yeah. And he loves Charlotte, and we are going to run away together. <laughs> I am right. Did Aunt Warren seem well? Fishing. Yes. I love fat babies. Do you know if Glenn's gone? Hmm? You said she was dangerous. What'd you mean? You need to remember a few things. You can't change anything about this. It's gonna end the same no matter what you do. So there's no point trying to be tough or brave. Brave isn't part of any of this. Everybody breaks. Everybody. I don't agree, Nick. I do not agree. Not everybody breaks. <sighs> Nick. What is this? Tell them everything. Nick. Whatever they want to know, just tell them. What the fuck, Nick? Stop them. I'm sorry. Is this because of fucking Scrabble? Okay, Is that it? Morgan. Sounds like they just froze any account with an F on it instead of an M. I have $4,000 in that account. They can't just take it. We made it easy. All they needed to do was just push a few buttons. Alyssa heard there's a new law. Women can't own property anymore. Wait, what? Are you fucking serious? And Luke can use your account. I'll transfer the money to him. Or that's what they're saying, husband or male next of kin. Fuck off. Fuck off. You know, they needed to do it this way. All the, the bank accounts and the jobs all at the same time. You imagine the airports otherwise? They don't want us leaving. You can bet on that. They can't just do this. They can't. They can. 
We've been under martial law since D.C. Yeah, but that was about preventing another attack. It was about, you know, capturing terrorists. Really? It never worked. It always is. Terrorists. Always is. Three books. Bet she's down. Hey, look, here's the fucking problem. Look, we'll figure it out. This can't last. Hey, you have all my money now. So, congratulations. <laughs> Come on. Well, you know I'll take care of you. Christ. Well, that's not what he's saying. What? What's wrong? Nothing. It just it, it sounds a little patronizing. You're so fucking patronizing. Come on, bring it on. I want... Should I just go in the kitchen and cut my dick off? No, you should do that. And while you do it, take a video of it, because the girls down at the collective will love watching that I shit. Love it. It's not for the collective. It's for you. You know that. <laughs> you want me to walk you to the station? Fuck yeah, it's crazy out there. That's big, strong man. Abdicate all right now. <laughs> oh. I find these conversations are much more efficient if we are all on the same page from the start.